Good evening, comrade subscribers. So, before I continue on with the HP, um, I got the uh, PLC C32 to DIP32 converter today. Um, purpose of this is to so that I can dump the ROMs from the Micro Palm uh, PC4000 and 5000. The problem is the ROMs are. 256 kilobit which is which is generally a 28 pin dip uh, so when it's a 32 pin here we've got a few pins that aren't used unfortunately this this one here I got it because it was uh, in in Australia and it was cheap so we'll get it relatively quickly um, the problem is pin one is connected to pin one um, let me point out so yeah pin one is connected to pin one pin two is connected to pin two pin three all the way around all 32 pins are connected to the equivalent on the dip but for uh 256 kilobit 28 pin um there's for example pin one is not connected um so that's generally okay because you know it's we, we're the the top four pins we're not using so it's basically this is pin one so pin one should, well, I've mapped it here, as as per this diagram here, pretty much, I've I've mapped it here. So pin uh, pin one's not connected on the PLC. So pin two goes to pin one of the dip twenty eight, three to two, four to four to three. So it goes like that, and then there's a couple that we skip. Twelve's not connected. So then thirteen, but you can see pretty much it. It's a you know one to one comparison uh, connection. So pin two here, uh, VPP should be connected to well, basically pin three on this on this thirty-two pin dip. So pin pin one, well, we don't care. It can be connected to any of these pins. We don't care because we're not using them. But pin two is the first real pin. Well, it's the programming pin that we don't need in this case. But pin two should be connected to pin three of the thirty-two pin. Or pin one if it was 28 which it's not <laughs> pin um, pin two is connected to pin two up here so I think I'm gonna have to make a converter board for the converter board anyway that's for the microsystems handheld so I will sort that out later need to get on to this Hewlett-Packard <laughs> So bloody hell. It doesn't go like that. You obviously knew that. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? It goes like that. <laughs> so right. Um serial port over this side. So yep, so everything goes. So this all goes down here. And these are the standoffs. Right. Now it all makes sense. Now imagine if I just watched the video that I made, pulling it apart. Let's reconnect the LCD. If I just watched the video pulling it apart, then I save myself a lot of heartache. So that goes on like that. HPIL sits in there. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to do something more about that because it's, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit loose, I don't know, so it kind of sits in there, hopefully it'll stay there enough, so now everything's connected, so stay there. that so these standoffs line up with the holes on the case like that and this very simply <laughs> just plugs in through those holes dum da dum 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 
So now I'm going to, have to just squeeze them back together a bit. Okay. That goes on like the top like that. Yeah, that's much better. That's much easier. Silly Billy. All right, let me get all this put back together. We're getting there, we're getting there, aren't we? Ah, okay, so it doesn't look like that I've put those screws in already. That's why. So I put the screws on when I put the cover on. Again, if I'd watched how I, if I watched the video how I pulled it apart, and referred to the service manual, then I wouldn't be doing this. Anyway, getting there, getting there, getting there. It's pretty simple. A lot easier than the Amstrad PPC 640. I am not looking forward to trying to get those pieces together again. Okay, I'll be back. That's a bit more compliant. I think just putting the screws in will uh, kind of close it all up, I guess. So let's put these screws that I just took back out. There we go. All right, let me finish all this off. And hopefully, in time to power it on. All right, just about done. A couple of spare screws. Let's see. Um, so I put in, how does this go? Let me draw, stick it in like that. Push it in there. And we've just got some screws on the sides, which will be these ones without washers, I assume. And um, we're done, I think. Just, uh, okay, why is that just, hmm. That's right, I was missing one of these screws, wasn't I? Okay, that's gone in. So for the battery, well, for powering it, um, maybe that's why the screw was missing because it just fell out. No, oh no, it's screwed in, screwed in. Okay, just don't feel like it's, oh, I just didn't do it far. There we go, okay. Okay, so should all be won't fall apart, I hope. <laughs> no, it all looks okay. Okay, so that seems okay, it seems to be in place now. Okay, so I was thinking of just um, do, 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 putting some of these and wiring it up to banana plugs so that I can power it. Maybe these will be enough. Just do like that. Um, I'll see. All right, let me make some sort of power cable. So, I'm usually pretty, with these type of crimps, I'm usually, oh, they never work for me. I, uh, wires always come out, so 
what I normally do is just stick some flux in, solder it up, and then put some heat shrink over it. Find that works um, a bit better. Always a favourite, works very well. Just slap it on everything. Um, there we go. Right. So I will make up this cable and be back again. See, it's got a nice, uh, nice solid connection there. It's salt because it's soldered on. So I'll just put a bit of heat shrink over that, and actually I'll probably crimp it as well because there is, you know, it's not full of solder. So I'll crimp it as well. Put some heat shrink over it. Right. I think that's okay, isn't it? Nice, so they're not going to come apart because they're soldered on. Um, yep, so now banana plugs on the other end. Finally, let's see if this thing works. Put the banana plugs on. Um, just a bit of extra glued heat shrink just to stop it pulling apart further. And again, I'll put some more on, on this side as well. And I'll put the banana plugs on. Unfortunately, I've, uh, I think I've only got like yellow good ones left, so... Uh, you have to apologize. have to apologize for that. But anyway, almost done. Almost done. I promise I will sort this out. I'll clean this bench. Oh, it's yeah. I need to sort it out. Too many projects going at once. I need to take like <laughs> three months off work. Anyway, let's finish off this. What on earth is this element fourteen? Nothing is unopened. All there is in there is the um, jacket cover. There's no actual <laughs> plug. What the hell, man? Hmm. It's a bit dodgy. I don't know if I'll be able to send that back now. <laughs> well, well, I'll survive. I'll survive. Okay. Power cable is ready. Uh, just probably because this is the kind of bonding strap for the earth um, for the screen. Well, there is an earthing in there, so probably what I should do is maybe put this back on and uh oh what can i do oh maybe mm. no i need a bolt don't i i could stick the no i don't want to stick the battery in and then shut no so i have to do something just to attach those together i think um yeah, let me find something just simple nut and bolt Okay, let's change perspective maybe. So all I want to do really is, do, 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 do. Uh, where are these? So just stick that on there. And stick the bolt and then bolt it down. Oh, of course, my big fat hand's going to be in the way, isn't it? I'll be back when it's done. Done. Actually, what I'm thinking, because uh, this is the RJ11 or 12 port for the in inbuilt modem, I could stick a 2.1 mil DC socket there and then just run wires from in here around to there and then just plug a 2.1 mil plug in. Anyway. Um, obviously there's no point in doing that if you've got the battery in there because the whole idea is that it it never switches off all right well um, oh, I just need jumper 11 I just need to put a, a strapping on that uh, I don't know what that's for and I don't know what that is but um, I'm in the truth okay six volts allow three amps all right it's drawing nothing How do 
I turn it on? <laughs> oh. The screen's doing something. Warning, memory loss. Press F1 to reformat drive A. Destroying data. So F1. Sorry, you can't see that, can you? Personal Applications Manager. So it's working. Um, I always have this issue, don't I, with LCDs. Um, obviously there's... Hopefully that's okay to see. Um, yeah, let me adjust and we'll be This back. is a little, little better. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Such an amateur. Um, put that out of the way. Oh, hopefully that's all. Oh. Actually, I don't know, user system menu. So I don't know if there is start application, file manager, time and date. Oh, hang on, let's see if we can do time and date. Minus 12, no, we are. Plus 11 at the moment. Let me go back up. Next choice, previous choice, no change. So if I just put plus, no. Um, next choice, previous choice. Oh, what do I do? Plus. Sorry, I should. This is probably annoying for you guys. <laughs> ah, there we go. So there is actually a contrast key. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to make it any better. I can see it okay. So maybe I need. I need to do some study on how to get LCDs. No. I need it over. You need to do it in a well lit room. Well lit room problem. Okay, let me try this again. It's a bit better. It needs to be in a well lit room. That's probably the best thing. So, this up here is the um, fluorescent on the ceiling. Hello. Think, how's that? Is that that's probably the best I'm going to do. Um, so that's adjusting contrast. If I press shift, I go backwards. There we go. Darker, 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 lighter, lighter, lighter. No, that's a, not a bad keyboard. Um, so next choice, previous choice, no change. But how do I change it then? Plus? No change. So I press F3. Ah, okay. Next choice, previous choice. So to decrement and increment. Okay. Um, well, it's plus 10, but it's summertime at the moment. So plus 11. Um, okay, so go down. With the, okay. Hour. Um, yeah, no idea. You have to stop the recording to check my phone. It is 21.51, so hour. Should go this way, 21. 51. Uh, it doesn't matter. Month. Um, um, what's the date today? Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> um, hang on. 29, stupid. 29th. Okay, moment of truth. What about the year? How far can I go with the year? Oh, no, well, I'm going over the 2000s. Of course, I'm going to lose all this as soon as I. Um, I'm going to have. Yeah, I'm going to lose it. So it's actually pretty good. It's. I don't know. Just see it. It's sipping 90 milliamps at the moment. All right. Uh, okay, so, and then we go over to F8 to exit. Okay, all right. Um, so, datacom config, system config. 
Time and date, file manager. Um, let's do system config. All right, so uh, how does that work? E-disk, minus 570. So main memory is just over a megabyte, but how does that work? Because I don't have... Hmm. I'll do... If I do F5 default, okay. That's more like it because I think that is, yeah, I've got 512K. So I've got 80K for main memory and 432K for the electronic disk. Although I can change it. What's the next choice? No, I can't change it. All right. External disk drives. Well, I don't have any at the moment. So... Do that, just remote verify, power save mode on, uh, underscore, okay, what type of character, a box, underscore, oh, I have a box, console mode, HP, HPIL, don't have a plotter, printer interface, HPIL, cool, um, is that it, okay, so at least it kind of confirms, I think, that, so I don't know why it thought I had over a megabyte, maybe, maybe this one did and someone's moved it, okay. F8. Exit add that. All right. So reformatting drive A. MS DOS 2.11. Oh, I'm in DOS. Oh, okay. That was cool. Um, all right. Battery 0% as we know. Um, time of date reread disks. So well, obviously there's nothing on here. Start application. What Do we have anything built in? But type exit. All right. So... DOS 2.11, so there would be nothing on drive A. And there is a drive B as well, I believe. Yeah, so there'll be nothing on drive B. Oh, Binder, what's on that? Oh, okay, Command, Amigo. All right, so that's the um, one of the file, Hewlett Packard disk filing systems, isn't it? Edlin format, HP link, more, pack, PAM, print, secure, and turn. Okay, so kind of a cut down DOS. Um, so this is kind of where you need the um, the ROM draw, so you can have Lotus one two three and various applications built in. So there we go. So start application, file manager. So I don't know if start. Okay, so that just goes to DOS. All right. Okay, so there is. Doesn't look like there's any built-in. I thought there'd be some sort of built-in. There's a file manager. No, delete. Okay. That makes things pretty easy. All right. <coughs> so there we go. <laughs> um, not much I can do at the moment, I would say. Personal applications manager. Move pointer to the desired application and press start application. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's just DOS at the moment. Okay, well, at least it works. Hopefully that was of some interest. Um, interesting little machine. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to get a battery for it so that um, I can, um, well, because as soon as I turn this off, it's going to forget everything. Although, what's it say? Anyway. All right. Okay. Thanks for hanging around. Hopefully that was of some interest. On to other stuff tomorrow. Bye for now.